everyone, I am Juliet and you're joining me at Spoiler Rotten Beads again for another video tutorial. I'm going to be showing you these gorgeous sparkly earrings by Nella Kabalova. Nella has very kindly shared this beautiful pattern with us all and I just love these super sparkly hoop earrings that I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. We've got them over on our website in several different kit colourways actually and they have got been so popular but so many of you have requested that we do a video for them so I thought I'm going to do them in this gorgeous kind of red party colourway today. Uh, there will be a free downloadable pattern on the website and um, there's a link to that on the description for the video so do click through to that. Do subscribe to the channel because the more subscribers that we have, then the more videos we can do for you all. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm going to tell you everything that you need. I'm going to guide you through the colours that I'm using. I am going to show you kind of every step of the way, really. And um, I shall answer any questions that you've got as well. So just fire away with your questions under the video and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, I'll just give you another little look at these earrings here. There you go. That's so pretty. Anyway, um, don't think I need to say anything else. I just need to start beading, don't I? So here goes. So these are the gorgeous sparkly hoop earrings. I just love them. This is one of my favorite patterns of all time. It is just so simple and so effective. And these hoops are just beautiful. They make a lovely pendant as well. So if you're not into big earrings, then, um, well, they're not that big. I mean, you can see on my um, on my hand here, they're not that big. But if you're not into earrings, then they make a gorgeous pendant as well. You could even um, skip the jump ring um, and just pass a chain through one of the, um, through the loop itself and just let it hang as a gorgeous pendant. But they're just so sparkly and so effective and just beautiful to make and to wear. So I'm going to guide you through everything that you need to make these gorgeous hoops. So you will need, um, you will need some mini duo beads and I've got this pretty red luster colour here. You'll need some three millimeter fire polish beads and um, I have got Siam Ruby that I'm using. You'll need some size four millimeter Preciosa bicon, Bicones and I'm using um, Light Siam AB two times. So this is, you see how gorgeous these sparkly crystals are. This is a light Siam Preciosa 4mm bicone but it's got an AB coating on it but it's got a double amount of AB coating on it so that's why it's called AB two times and that gives it even more sparkle because we do like our sparkle here. Then you're going to need some size 11 seed beads and I'm using a Miyuki seed bead and it is colour number um, 9408. It's opaque maroon. I don't know why they call it maroon because it's a really good true red, this colour. Um, it's one of my favourite reds. It's, a, it's like a pure red. It's gorgeous. And then my 15 is um, opaque red which is colour number um, 91684 and that's my size 15 Miyuki um, which matches really well with the um, with the size 11s in the opaque maroon and then I have got one of my favourite little earring findings here these gorgeous little crystal um, earring findings and I have got a four millimetre open jump ring and then you're going to need some beading thread and I'm going to use a fire line for this because I like to bead these nice and stiff and the fire line is a bit stiffer than Dura thread so um, if you want some structure to your piece then fire line is a great way to go so I'm going to be using the fire line in black satin and then I have got a size um, a size 12 beading needle so I'm going to go ahead and thread my beading needle up with around about a meter of beading thread um, and then I'm going to be following the pattern which you can download on the website um, and it is um, by Nella Kabalova and it's a gorgeous pattern this is the in a diff totally different colorway using four mil rounds instead of the four mil crystals but you can see it's a nice easy to follow pattern and I will pop a link to that free downloadable pattern underneath this video as well so you'll be able to click through and find that nice and easily so I'm going to come back to you when I've threaded up my needle so to begin with, you are just going to need your mini duos and your size 11s. And we're just going to string 20 mini duos and 20 size 11 seed beads alternately. So I'm going to start off with a size 11 
and a mini duo. And I'm just going to repeat that until I've got 20 of each bead on my on my thread there. So I'm just going to keep on adding on the beads like so alternately. Um, and I'm going to come back to you when I've got 20 on my needle. But I'm just letting you have a little look there what I'm doing. There you go. Okay, so I've got 20 of my size 11s and 20 of my mini duo beads. And what I'm going to do now is just thread back through all 20 of those beads so that I bring them round into a loop. So I'm just taking my needle back through all 20 beads. You can't do this all at once, so you've got to do it step by step. But as you do it, they'll can't, they kind of slip round into a loop there. So I'm just going to keep on through until I get back to my tail of thread at the beginning there. So that's my tail of thread. So I'm working back round. You see they've all come round into a loop and these are going to form the base of the earrings. Okay. Nearly there. There you go. Okay, so I am now right back round um, at my tail of thread here and I'm going to secure my tail of thread by knotting it onto my working thread like so. Pull nice and tight and then I'm going to tie another double knot there so that it's nice and secure. And that knot just slips neatly in between two beads. And see, as I'm pulling it all nice and tight, it's kind of buckled up and it doesn't matter the way the the, super, the mini duos are sitting right now because um, what we're going to do is step up through the empty hole in the mini duo that we are exiting. And now I'm going to add a size 11 seed bead in between all of the mini duos. And I'm going to pull tight and keep my tension nice and tight as I do this. So that's the size 11 going in there that now. Just zoom in. There you go. Let me find my beads. There you go. So I'm just adding a size 11 in, but I'm pulling tight. And what's going to happen is, as I do that, these are going to start to sit up on the edge, like so, and form a ring. So I'm just going to go all the way around, pulling tight, adding in those size 11s in between each of the mini duo beads there, pulling tight as I go. So I'm going to come back to you when I have gone all the way around my circle there and pulled everything nice and tight. So I'm almost all the way around now. I'm going to add in my last couple of size 11s and you can see that it's really sort of cupping and forming that pretty ring shape that we want it to. So this is my last size 11 going in and I'm exiting through that first size 11 that I added. Pull everything nice and tight. Get my tail of thread out of the way because we don't want that in the way. It's kind of annoying me. There we go. And turn it on its side so you guys can take a look. <clears throat> so, you can see it's formed that pretty kind of ring shape there. And what we're going to do now is begin embellishing that ring. And that's what's going to create that gorgeous, sparkly um, effect. It kind of looks like a, a Christmas wreath or a flower. Um, reminds me of a poinsettia, this one. Um, just because of the colours, really. Um, so, exiting and keeping everything nice and tight, exiting from a size 11, I'm going to pick up a 15, an 11, a 3mm fire polish, another 11, and a 15. There we go. So that's a 15, an 11, a 3mm fire polish, an 11 and another 15. Okay, and I'm exiting from an 11 in my ring there. Okay. And I'm going to skip over the super duo, sorry, the mini duo 
the 11, the mini duo, and go through that 11 there. Let me just zoom in so you guys can see where I'm going. So I'm exiting from an 11, skipped over a mini duo, 11, mini duo, and going through the next 11. And you're going to end up with something that looks like that. And I'm going to go around my piece, keeping on doing that. So I'm picking up a 15, an 11, 3 mil fire polish, 11, 15, 15. Missing out the, the mini duo, 11, mini duo, and going through that second, 11 there. Okay, and I'm just going to continue around the circle all the way, repeating that all the way around. Okay, and I'm going to come back to you when I have done that. So I'm nearly all the way around. This is my last little set here. Um, and I'm going to finish off by going through that 11 and then I'm going to step up through some of those beads that I added in the last round there. So I'm stepping up through a 15, 11 and a 3 mil fire polish. go so I'm exiting from from that first three mil fire polish that I added and what we're going to do is begin to kind of pull these across the edge of our ring so that we form a sort of a crisscross which will then be able to embellish with the sparkly crystals so I'm exiting from the three mil fire polish I'm going to pick up an 11 and a 15 and I'm going to go down through that size 11 on the other side, opposite the one that we went through earlier when we added this little frill. And that's gonna pull that fire polish across so it sits in the middle there. So I'm now exiting from a size 11 in the base. I'm gonna pick up a 15 a size 11 and this time I'm just going to go through a fire polish bead. And now I'm exiting from a fire polish bead so I'm going to pick up a 15 and 11 and then go through the size 11 in the base that corresponds with the other size 11 on the other side. So let me just pick that up and let you guys see that. Maybe you can see that on its side more. So it's made that fire polish bead sit right on top of the ring there. And I'm gonna go all the way around doing that. So I'm exiting from the seed bead in the base. So I'm gonna pick up a 15 and 11, go through the next fire polish bead and that pulls it across to the middle and then I'll need a size 11 and a 15 and then I'm through the size 11 on the base on the other side. Okay, so you can see those two now are sitting as we want them to on the edge. So I'm going to go all the way around, continue that until I come to, <clears throat> excuse me, losing my voice, until I come to the end there. So I'm nearly all the way around and I'm exiting from a size 11 at the base. So I'm going to pick up a 15 and an 11 and go through that last fire polish there. So let me take this up to the camera, let you guys take a look. So it's made all of those if those um, three mil fire polish sit on their edge all the way round with a kind of a crisscross of seed beads. So you can see that the seed beads kind of are crossing through the fire polish beads there. 
possibly I have not chosen the best colours for this video because I'm doing it all in red, but I just love it so much. But when you follow the pattern, um, Nella um, in her pattern has um, done it in all kind of contrasting colours, so it's kind of really easy to see on the pattern. So um, if you get a bit lost, don't worry, just download that free pattern from our website. So I'm now exiting from one of my three mil fire polish beads and I'm ready to start adding the bling here, which I just love. We love a bit of bling. So I've got my gorgeous sparkling Preciosa crystals and I'm gonna pick up a 15, a four mil crystal and a 15 and just go through the next fire polish bead. And there you can see my crystal is now sitting in between. So it is a 15 crystal, 15, and then through a fire polish. And once again, you just want to do that all the way around your piece. So I'm just adding in my last crystal and I'm going to finish off by exiting from a 15 on the other side of the first crystal that I added. Okay, and this is where we finish off the piece by adding these lovely little kind of hoops of seed beads, which really just set it off beautifully around the edge. So exiting from a 15, I'm going to pick up a 15, an 11 and a 15 and go through the next 15 crystal 15. And there's that little embellished edge of seed beads there. So that's a 15, 11, 15, and then through the next 15 crystal 15. Like so. So once again, I'm gonna go all the way around my piece and come back to you when I'm done. So I've gone all the way round and my earring is finished. So I just need to finish off my thread. So to do that, I am just gonna hook my needle down between a couple of beads. So I get a little loop and then I can go through that loop with my needle and that forms a knot which I can pull tight and it will sit between two beads. I'm gonna do that again in the same spot. Pull tight, stitch through a couple of beads and that will just pull that knot inside a few beads. I'm just stitching that through a few beads and then I can just tie. I've got the shakes, haven't I? Miss me, what's happened to me? <laughs> tie another one. Put it inside a bead. And you can do this just several times all the way around. And then you're just sure that everything's nice and tight. <clears throat> and when you're happy that it's nice and secure, you've tied enough knots, you can trim off your thread. I've already trimmed off my tail of thread. And um, now all of that is required is for me to attach the jump ring um, and pop it on its little ear wire there. So to attach a jump ring, I have got a four mil open jump ring and I'm gonna take two pairs of chain nose pliers and I'm gonna grip that jump ring either side of the opening, twist it out to the side to open it up and then I'm gonna slip that jump ring inside one of those size 11 beads, one that looks like it's going to play ball. Mm -hmm. So hard doing this on camera. <laughs> it's really easy when you're not trying to keep it all unshot at the same time, but I'm just trying to get this guy through a size 11 and it's really not hard, but I'm all fingers and thumbs at the moment. There we go. Through that size 11 there. And then I can close them up. 
there's my jump ring on. I can just slip on my ear wire. Make it nice and secure, just give it a little squeeze so that there's not a big gap there. And there is my gorgeous earrings, all ready to go. I just love these earrings. I love this pattern. It's a brilliant pattern. It's so versatile. You can make kind of really summery colours. You can make frosty, um, wintry shades. Um, these are just just scream kind of party to me. I just love them. They're just so bright and colourful and so pretty. You can make pendants. Um, yeah, you could, um, I guess you could, if you're really clever, you could make several of these loops and then join them together as you make them and kind of make a really chunky statement necklace, which would be amazing. Um, kind of with the hoops all kind of interlinked with each other. Um, it's beautiful pattern by Nella. So thank you for sharing the pattern with us, Nella Kabalova. Um, um, there is a link to the free downloadable pattern underneath this video, so do click that link and don't forget to, to subscribe to our channel before you go and then you won't miss out next time we show you a, a new tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Do leave your comments below and um, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks guys, bye!